Welcome, medical students, to today's lecture on bile reflux. We will cover its definition, anatomy, physiology, digestion, association with Garrett and bile acid malabsorption, complications, diagnostics, management options, and challenges of bile reflux associated Barrett's esophagus. Bile reflux refers to the retrograde flow of bile from the duodenum into the stomach and potentially up into the esophagus. While the natural flow of bile is from the liver, through the biliary system, and into the duodenum to aid in digestion, bile reflux occurs when this flow is disrupted. This condition can lead to mucosal injury in various parts of the gastrointestinal tract and is considered to be an important factor in the development of complications such as esophagitis, peptic ulcers, Barrett's esophagus, and even esophageal cancer. To fully comprehend bile reflux, it is essential to have a comprehensive understanding of the normal anatomy and physiology of the gastrointestinal sphincters. Particularly, we will focus on the lower esophageal sphincter, LES, and the pyloric sphincter, as these structures play crucial roles in preventing the backflow of gastric contents, including bile, into the esophagus and the stomach, respectively. We will explore the intricate mechanisms involved in the regulation of these sphincters and how impairment in their function can contribute to bile reflux. Bile serves several important functions in the digestive process. Firstly, it aids in the emulsification and absorption of fats by breaking down large fat globules into smaller droplets, facilitating their digestion by pancreatic lipases. Bile also plays a role in the regulation of cholesterol metabolism, assisting in its excretion from the body. Understanding these functions is crucial in appreciating the impact of bile reflux on the digestive system and the potential consequences resulting from its abnormal flow. Differentiating between GERD and bile reflux is vital, as the clinical presentation, diagnostic approach, and management strategies vary. While GERT primarily involves the backflow of gastric acid into the esophagus, bile reflux involves the regurgitation of bile, along with gastric acid, into the upper gastrointestinal tract. We will delve into the key differences between these two conditions and explore the diagnostic methods used to accurately identify bile reflux. Both gastric acid and bile contribute to the development of esophageal injury. While gastric acid directly damages the esophageal mucosa through the process of acidification, bile can induce injury through various mechanisms, including the disruption of cellular membranes, oxidative stress, and the activation of pro-inflammatory signaling pathways. This section will provide an in-depth understanding of the mechanisms by which both gastric acid and bile contribute to esophageal injury, emphasizing the importance of their role in bile reflux-related complications. The pathophysiological mechanisms underlying bile reflux are multifactorial. Impaired sphincter function, abnormal motility patterns, and anatomical abnormalities can all contribute to the occurrence of bile reflux. We will delve deeper into these mechanisms, exploring how each factor can disrupt the normal flow of bile and lead to this condition. Accurate diagnosis is crucial in effectively managing bile reflux. Several diagnostic tests are available to identify and evaluate bile reflux, including endoscopy, pH monitoring, bile acid assays, and specialized imaging techniques such as nuclear scintigraphy. We will discuss each of these modalities in detail, highlighting their strengths and limitations in detecting bile reflux. Bile reflux can lead to various long-term complications, some of which have been briefly mentioned earlier. These complications include esophagitis, peptic ulcers, Barrett's esophagus, and, in rare cases, esophageal cancer. We will explore the pathogenesis and clinical implications of each complication, emphasizing the importance of early detection and intervention. There are several pharmacological treatment options available for bile reflux, including acid suppressants, prokinetic agents, and bile acid sequestrants. We will discuss the mechanisms of action for each of these drugs, their respective effectiveness, and the considerations that need to be taken into account when prescribing them to patients. In cases where medical therapy fails to provide relief, surgical interventions may be necessary. There are several surgical procedures and techniques used to manage bile reflux, each with its own set of benefits, risks, and outcomes. We will closely examine these surgical interventions, discussing their indications, success rates, and potential complications. Bile reflux is often associated with bile acid malabsorption, a condition where the body fails to effectively reabsorb bile acids in the ileum, leading to excess bile acids in the colon. We will investigate the link between these two conditions, explore the diagnostic strategies employed to identify bile acid malabsorption in patients with bile reflux, and discuss the available treatment options for managing this combined condition. Managing bile reflux associated Barrett's esophagus presents specific challenges. This section will cover various aspects, 
including risk stratification based on the severity of the condition, surveillance strategies to detect dysplastic changes or early malignancy, and the role of endoscopic and surgical interventions in the management of this high-risk group. In conclusion, bile reflux is a complex condition with significant effects on the gastrointestinal system. Knowledge about its definition, anatomy, physiology, digestion, association with GERD and bile acid malabsorption, complications, diagnosis, and management is crucial for healthcare professionals. A multidisciplinary approach involving medical and surgical interventions is necessary for optimum patient care.